Hey, what's up, users? This is John at Muse for You here to help you build awesome websites without code. And for quick tip number three, I've decided to show how to make a dot navigation menu in Adobe Muse. Uh, so I, here I have the dot navigation, and if I hover my mouse over these dots, we have the name of the menu item. So home, about, services, products, and contact. And if I click on each one, it takes us to a different section uh, of on the website. So we're using anchor points for these different sections. And here we're using the tooltip widget from Adobe Muse. And for the parallax images, we're using the uh, parallax image background widget found at museforyoushop.com. So I'll go ahead and, and jump into creating this. Um, I'm gonna try to keep it under five minutes, so I'm gonna go fairly quickly. Uh, this is what the website looks like here. So I'll go to File, New Site, and I'll click OK, and I'll double click on the home page. So the first thing I wanna do is go to Object, Insert Widget, Composition, and Tooltip. And then I'll click once, and then we have these dots here. So I'm gonna move this here to the left, and I'm going to align these dots on the right, just like this. Okay, so there we have our dots, and then I'll click on the first dot, and I'll just delete what's in here. I'll go to the text option, and then I'll write some text. I'll say home for this one, and I'll align. I'll leave it aligned to the left, and then I'll take off the corner radius off the tooltip, so it's just a square, and I'll position the home text right up here, and I'll make it smaller just like that, and like that. And we'll do something like this and just make it the size of uh, this text in here. So now we just have this text for the tooltip. And what I can do is delete these two. So I'll select uh, select these two dots and delete the trigger and the targets. So now I have uh, this text with the dot. And if I click plus, it'll create a similar text box right in here. And what I want to do is uh, show show all in design mode. So while I'm working on it, I can see the text in design mode. So again, what I did is I clicked on the composition and went to show all in design mode. So now I have this this uh, target here and this dot, and I'll just drag this down just like this, and I'll copy the text is, that's in here and I'll paste right in there, and I'll say uh, about, perfect, and then I'll click the plus symbol again, or I'll click on this uh, trigger, yeah, this uh, trigger here, this dot, click plus again, and then paste right in there and I'll say, here I'll say services, just like that. And I'll have to uh, stretch this out a bit. So I might have to stretch out all of them just a bit, just like that. Okay, and then services text box, we'll make it a little bit larger. So we might have to just stretch them, stretch them out a little bit, all these uh, targets, just like that and services, there we go. Okay, so we have services, then I'll click on the dot again, click the plus symbol, copy this text into the target, and I'll say products, just like that. And again, plus symbol, perfect. And then I'll copy this text in here, paste it in the target, and I'll say contact. Looks good, so now if I preview this in the browser, We'll see how this looks. All right, so there we have the dots, and they do have a border around them, um, so we kind of want to take that off. So on each of these, uh, I'll just select the target and say none, so I can select them all at one time, and I'll just say none for the border. So now if I preview again, I just hit Command-Shift-D to preview. We have all of the text next to the dots. Looks good. And I think I probably already reached my five minute mark. Um, so just to style these dots here, um, I'll just click on the first dot. I'll go to the active state. Uh, for normal, um, I'm gonna select um, one of these colors uh, for my muse for you colors. And then for the active, I'll select the black again, but I'll add a border radius um, and I'll select the light blue there. So now if I preview and I hover over it, we have the dot changing uh, with the border around it, which looks nice. And we can just position these. We can actually bring all of these closer uh, to the dots. And I'll just move it down a little bit like that, reposition it. And then I'll align it or I'll fix it to the right. So I'll pin to the upper right so it stays fixed and doesn't move when the website is moving. Uh, so now what I'll do is I'll just copy um, all of these elements from here 
and just paste it into the new site so we have some something to work with um, and I can paste all this in here um, then I'll go to home I'll say right click paste in place and it looks good I don't want the previous dot navigation um, and the anchors are copied so I'll click on the first dot and I'll just link it to uh, we do want a home anchor so I'll create the anchor and I'll call this home just like that and I'll position it right there so I'll click on the dot go to the hyperlinks say home go to the about say about services services products and products and contact and contact I'm not gonna style these buttons here just to save some time for this video but I'll move these up a little bit just like that or I could select them all and say align to selection and then distribute um, the vertical centers and the same with the dots in here align distribute vertical centers all right that looks good so let's preview that and we can move them all up a little bit so there's home about services yeah we'd have to move each of these individually so they fit really nice next to the dots and contact so I'll go to file preview page and browser there we have the dot navigation if I click we go to the different sections and I'll have to make sure that the menu is on top so let me just go to the layers panel go to the composition right here put it in the front and I'll preview in the browser again so there we go about services products and contact Now we notice that each of these um, has a fill so we'll just click on all of these and for fill we'll say none okay last time I'll preview in the browser and there we go so no no uh, background to these to the text there so products we can definitely see we have to move a little bit and we'll move them all over to the left and down a little bit all right so they might be a little bit far now but something like that and products maybe move it up a little bit okay last time preview page and browser there we go about services products and contact okay and then you can play with the styling of the dots and you can change the text in the items here by just going to the text option and you can change the text for all the text inside of the dot navigation um, so yeah one last time dot navigation home about services products and contact all right so that's it that's creating a dot navigation with the tooltip widget in adobe muse um, we use the tooltip widget here for the dot navigation we fixed the dot navigation to the right and you could even change the speed at which the text roll, rolls over in the composition widget um, by changing the transition speed here so if i said one um, it would change the transition speed so it would just be a little bit slower as I roll over and you can kind of play with that as well. Um, here we're using the parallax image background widget uh, from useforyoushop.com. Uh, you create a rectangle, assign the graphics style name to the rectangle, then add the image in the widget and we set the speed to zero and then add the graphics style name image one um, to the rectangle here in the graphics styles name and just be sure to add the add first here as well. Uh, so that's it for this uh, quick tip number three. It might be a bit over five minutes, but I think it's a great video for anyone who's looking to add dot navigation to their Adobe Muse website. Uh, so that's it for this video tutorial. Again, I do this to help you build awesome websites without code. Uh, if you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. Also in the show more section below are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you.